praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Before the saxophone will come in, I just want to, because our pastor will be coming immediately. Amen. He's a man of God we all know very well. He's one of us. I just pray that you open your heart and receive from God this morning as our pastor, Pastor Tukumbo, will come out to bless us. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Let's celebrate our own. Let's celebrate him. Hallelujah. If you want God to really use him for you this morning, celebrate him by putting your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Sassophon, just one, just one. Amen. God bless you. Be seated. Stand in place. God bless you. Yeah. 
teacher, yeah. my teacher, yeah. my teacher, my teacher. Worship him, bless his holy name. Appreciate your helper, your dealer, your promoter, your teacher, your all in all, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, ancient of days, the one that was before the beginning began, the every moment. Lord, we worship him. Lord, we worship him. Lord, we worship him. Lord, we worship him. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are worshiped. Spirit of the living God is so clear that you are here and you are here to touch lives. Let no one leave this place or not anyone under the sound of this voice, whether the ones that are here or the ones that are online. Let no one leave this your present without being mightily blessed. In the name of Jesus, our issues differ. Meet everyone in the name of Jesus. Grant unto every one of us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship and pray. I thought your amen would be louder than that. I didn't know you can do better than that. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you, be seated. First of all, I want to appreciate the Almighty God that has given me this unequal opportunity to be here, to be standing, because life, no one can receive life without Him. And nothing happens by chance. I want to give glory to God for making it possible for me to be standing here today. And I want to appreciate my dad and my mom in the Lord. Daddy, Sunday, I was here, and mommy, Ruth, I was here. You know, on Wednesday when I was here, I said that we are all their children. But among children, there is what they call firstborn. That is me. Don't jealous me, oh. That is me. And I want to appreciate God for their life because they have been following us up since we were both little. And all their teaching, their mentoring, and their guidance has been profiting us. God bless you, sir. Amma. In the name of Jesus. I know that our daddy is somewhere. Also appreciate. I don't know whether I will call him my senior, 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 senior brother. I think I will prefer to call him my uncle. Because he's somebody that very long that I have met and known him. Consistency in God, in patience, in humility, and I've learned so many things from him. In fact, I can also call him like a dad too. That is Pastor Pam Okusebo. God bless you, sir. Thank you for always being there for somebody like me. I've been patient. It all. And I want, to, I want you to celebrate the men and the women of God that are always backing our daddies and our mommies up. And of course, put your hands together for Jesus. Because you came. And because you came, you'll be mightily blessed. So. I thought your amen would be louder than that. Amen. Praise the Lord. We don't have much time because the way I'm looking at this time, it will fly. My, when, when my daddy called me that I will be here, and he told me the thing, he said that the unlimited God, I said, wow, what a team. That is why any form of limitation that I am from this very day, there will be no more. Ah, uh, you didn't catch that. I said that any limitation that has been in your life before you came here, from this day, there will be no more. 
for the people that were here on Wednesday, on Wednesday we talked about the unlimited God, and we said that there are different aspects of His unlimitedness. On Wednesday morning, good morning, Holy Spirit, we talked about the unlimited Creator. That this is your God, my God, He can create things. Even aspect of him that they showed us in the Bible. The whole of the Bible happened to be his creative parts. In the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, the Bible said that in the beginning, God created, created created. That was the first ability they introduced him to us. And we said it on Wednesday, if I can do a little recap. On Wednesday we said that he does not need anything to create everything. The Bible said that the earth was without form and void. Void means empty space. Void means nothing there. Out of nothingness, he created everything. And that is good news for you. You may be looking at your finance. You may be looking at your mental life. You may be looking at any area of your life that there is nothing. Don't worry. This unlimited creator. we said that this creator can create a way where go to the Red Sea and there was no way there had never been way since the beginning of the world because God had created the sun, the moon, the star the, the sea including Red Sea and from beginning there had never been way because he's the unlimited creator he can create a way where there had been no way and he made the way for them and you know Yesterday, I was telling the people that we were having workers meeting together that for the first time, God opened my eyes to the way he made in the Red Sea. I have been reading that part for a long time, but I didn't see what he made me to see yesterday morning. Private session with him. And I discovered that there were two miracles that happened in the creation of the Red Sea. The one that I've always known, I've always talked about, I've always heard. The parting of the Red Sea, yes, on the left side, on the right side, and the path. And it not made me to realize, we see, will you just enter and be going like that? That he also elevated the ground to their level for the very first time in my life. I saw that revelation. And I said, so... There were two miracles that are actually happened concerning that Red Sea because they would not have gone down and be now going. But he actually did two in one and they just went straight. I decree into your life. And be done today in the name of Jesus. Unlimited creator can create. We told them on Wednesday that you don't know how to sack somebody to actually create a job for you. He did that for Joseph. When Joseph got to the Potiphar's house, he just made him to be in charge. When he got to the prison, he didn't tell us that they sacked somebody that was in charge of the prison. They just made him to be in charge. When he got to the palace of Pharaoh, the position that was not there before, they created this for him. Can I decree into your life? That which you need concerning position or your career or your business that had not been there that you need, let God create for you. In the name of Jesus. So our God is the unlimited creator. But today we will just quickly go to another aspect of him. The unlimited deliverer. What did I say? The unlimited deliverer. That is one thing that your God can do. You know one thing about deliverance? Every now and then we find ourselves in trouble. The Bible says that many are the affliction of who? All the righteous. So we find ourselves in trouble. And we will need deliverance. Whether health deliverance, whether business deliverance, academic deliverance, or whatever. Your God is there to deliver you. And I pray that the deliverance will come to you today. I said the deliverance will come to you today. You know, there are some times that some people want to deliver you, but they are limited. Apostle Paul was saying one time in the book of First Thessalonians, 
chapter 2 verse 18 what Thessalonians 2 18 he said that I will, we will have come to you once and again but Satan in that does Apostle Paul he confessed he wanted to come and help some people in Thessalonica he said that I wanted to come but you know what I will be truthful to you Satan in that door wherefore we will have come unto you even I Paul once and again but Satan in that door even sometimes angels can be in that remember the story of Daniel in Daniel chapter 10 12 and 13 Daniel 10 12 and 13 for 21 days the answer has been released to but the angel that not gave Daniel the information he said that the prince of Persia withstood him 21 days so even angel can be in that in Jeremiah 2 there was a particular time Satan was contending with him for the body of Moses forces that are supposed to help you can be in that but you know what there is who is unlimited deliverance decree that that God will arise for you today I said that God will arise for you today if God chooses to take you out of the prison, there is no devil that can hinder him. Prison of lack, prison of sickness, prison of delay. If he chooses, in the book of Job chapter 9 verse 12, Job 9 12, the Bible says that he take it away. Who dares challenge him? God takes you away from problem. Who is going to be saying, what are you doing? Behold, he take it away. Who can hinder him? Who will say unto him, What doest thou? That's why I am so confident that because you came, whether you mistakenly came or they invited you, it's too late for the devil to harass you. Because as you have come to the city of life, your case is settled. I'm going to tell your neighbor, my case is settled. Oh, you don't believe that? Tell another neighbor, my case is settled. That was why when David confronted Goliath, <laughs> David, he knew that Goliath was stronger. But he had confidence in who he trusted. In Psalm 18, verse 17, he actually told us that it was God that delivered him from his strong enemy because they were too strong for him. He delivered me from my and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. In fact, King Saul was telling him, Don't go and fight him. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 33. 1 Samuel chapter 17, 33. He told him that this guy you want to fight, he has been a champion from his youth. Well, now you are but a youth. Imagine, see that. He has been a champion from his youth. You are a youth. Meaning that where you are now, he has left that stage. And being a champion means that any opposition, he has dealt with them. But David said something. I have a deliverer. I have an unlimited deliverer. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17, 37. 1 Samuel 17, 37. He said, that deliverer, he delivered me from the lion. He delivered me from the bear. This uncircumcised Philistine, he also joined them. I'm declaring into your life anything that has harassed you for so long. The Almighty God is bringing deliverance to you today. He told Goliath himself, he said, You are coming with me with all this of 1 Samuel chapter 17 46. 1 Samuel 17 46. He said, You are coming to meet me with sword with spear and with all but you know I'm coming in the name of my deliverer he said and he's going to be giving you to me today this day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand and I will smite thee and take thy head from thee and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistine this day he said the Lord will deliver him into his arm you know what I've discovered? 
you can't get anything unless God delivers it into your hand from this particular scripture that first part of that first Samuel 17 for this he said the Lord will deliver thee into my hand and of course eventually it was so meaning that it's what God delivers into your hand that you are able to get in life and you open your mouth and pray and say Father say Father deliver blessings into my land deliver breakthrough into my hand deliver victories into my hand deliver progress into my hand he said the Lord will deliver you into my hand Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. As you have asked him to do, so shall it be done unto you. God bless you. Please be seated. You are doing very well. Any of those gadgets, David brought him down it. 50. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 60. Verse that, so David prevailed against the Philistine. And he did not even have any sword in his hand. We just a stone and a sling. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone. And smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of the... You don't need what you think you need to get your victory. You just need the deliverer to be with you. You want to go to the embassy, to any establishment, or to get it. You don't need it. Once the deliverer is with you, he will deliver that thing into your hand. I decree this week, that which you have been looking for, that is good, that will cause your joy to be full. Let God deliver into your hand. Let God deliver into your hand. <laughs> Very important. Thank you. Please be seated. This God requires you to align with him. You know, what I would have loved to talk about, two forces that are strong enemies that we need God to deliver us from and deliver into our hand. Number one, causes and covenant. They are strong. In the book of Psalm 74 verse 20, Psalm 74 verse 20, God respect covenant. Even the one that has been entered into wrongly, he respect until you now come to his side. I will respect unto the covenant for the dark places of the earth. Invitation of cruelty. Causes and covenant, they can ruin a person's child. Remember Reuben, who was the firstborn. He had all the gifts, eloquent, gifted. But because the cause came from the father to him in Genesis 49, 3 and 4. Genesis 49, 3 and 4. He said, thou shalt not excel. No wonder. Anytime he tried to raise his head, there was a particular time, even the head had to open because he joined the company of Korah. But because the cause has gone ahead of him, he could not. He just went down. Anyone that is carrying a cause from the womb of your mother, or you inherited from your family, or the one you acquire on the way, let the old unlimited deliverer shatter the cause from your life. In the name of Jesus. Very important. And there are many causes in this life. There are some silent causes. There was a particular guy. He went abroad. And he met one girl. One white girl. I think that girl was 20 old. They were about the same. And you know they professed love to each other. But he was not really in love with the girl. He just wanted to collect the particular this, um, the thing. He stay and all the stuff there. And he was forming with the girl. And the girl was working and sponsoring him at her own expense. The family did not really agree, but she said, I love him. And he finished, he started work, everything was. Then, after he had gotten all the things, he just said he was traveling to another state. He just came to Nigeria. Because he married, he had already married in Nigeria. He had been sending stuff to them. And he just abandoned the girl. Ah! The girl wept. But you know, one day he was going on the express. How he entered under the trailer, he perished. You know, there is a cause that there are some causes that some people don't know. The person does not need to open the mouth. Proverbs chapter 17, 13. Proverbs 17, 13. That when a person does good continually to you and you now repay the person with evil, the Bible says that evil will not depart from that person. That's why some people I pity them. Who so rewarded evil for good? 
What did the Bible say? There are some people that are carrying curses, but they don't know. But the mercy of God will destroy those curses from you. In the name of Jesus. So we need the unlimited deliverer to break us free from any wrong covenant. Some of us entered into the covenant. Some of us, our parents roped us into the covenant. There was a particular woman. She was looking for the foot of the womb for so long. And at the end of the day, they suggested a particular the dark covenant way to her. She followed them. They went into deep forest. By the time she got to the forest, he saw one lady on a pot, mortar. He lived inside that pot, big pot, with one tooth. And now I said, oh, yes, what do you want? He said, I want to have children. He said, well, no problem, we can give you children. But there is a condition. He said, Mama, what's the condition? He said, you have children, but the first one will never get married. Are you ready for that? He said, ah, he said, I will have children. Yeah. Okay, okay. And through this, she goes, she had children. But this first one, he just continued, very beautiful, but he did not really know why. She just kept on, she was, oh, no relationship worked in her life. It was when she was almost 59 that she got to a particular church that there is a serious church, like this kind of church, and we were praying, went to meet the pastor, and they fasted, and God revealed that, and it was confirmed that there is a covenant that is hanging on your head. If it's not broken, you will remain like that. Thank God, God help her to deal with that. Some people are in that situation, they are not aware. There was a particular sister, very beautiful, she had a PhD, very rich, but this one, no guy will even say hi to her. She won't go that. And you went to the pastor. The pastor said, ah, me too, I've been looking at it, but it's so it will not be somehow less free. I think she was close to 40 that time, 39 or 30. And the pastor told her to do fasting with it. He not told the pastor, any time I prayed, I will be seeing the bottle. The bottle will just be dangling like this. He said, that means that this, that bottle has something to do with the reason why. He said, what of your dad? Where is your dad? My dad is in the, our hometown. He said, I perceive you should go and meet him and ask him, is there anything called bottle in our family? Do we do any kind of ritual concerning bottle? And she went. By the time she went, the dad, she brought provision, she drove there and told the dad when they were relaxed, he said, Daddy, is there anything like bottle concerning our family? The dad just put the hand on the head. He said, yeah. He said, Dad, what happened? when you were born and your grandmother saw you that you were very spotless, very beautiful she said, boys will not allow this girl to read her book let's take her to the witch doctor, let them do something to lock up that area of her life and they went and the witch doctor told them to go and bring some things, I think uh, the center or something and put some things in the bottle, make some incantation, gave it to the grandfather who happened to be the father of her own father that was telling her the story and that one put it and he told him to put it upside down and just lock, tie it to, under the bed he said that was what happened but all of us forgot when you finish your BSc, your master's, your PhD we did not even read as he just mentioned it now I just remember and I said where is the but he said that it's still, it must still be under the bed of your grandfather's house they can I go there and they went there, they saw the bottle see there. They took the bottle and took travel back to the pastor. They prayed on it, anointed it, broke it, and she got married immediately. Can I pray for you? Any covenant that is holding you in any area of your life, any covenant that has put a stagnation into your life, let the mercy of God shatter it in the name of Jesus. Let it be shattered in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. All oh, limited deliverer. Deliver me from any dark covenant or cause. Pray, pray, pray. Deliver me. Any dark covenant or cause. Please deliver me. 
Blessed be your lily. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver me. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please be seated. You know something? You can go on and on. But what is the point? Exciting ourselves. Getting this inspiration. Getting this revelation. The Bible says that it is when you confess your sin that the deliverer can actually come into your life to assist you. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 13. Proverbs 28 13 says that anybody that covers his sin shall not prosper. You see the reason why some people struggle. They live in sin and they cover their sin. But the Bible says that they shall not prosper. But God is so merciful that anyone that confesses and forsakes of sin shall receive mercy. It's mercy you need. Once you receive mercy, you'll be doing little. You'll be getting great results. Why? Romans chapter 9 verse 16. Romans chapter 9 verse 16. But said that so then it's not of you that will it. Not of you that run it. But it's God that showed mercy. You need mercy. But when you come to a kind of church like this, you don't need to form. It's not about how many times you have been coming. It's not about your title. Give me that title, but you messed up. And thank God, it asked God for mercy. Have mercy upon me. And God showed him mercy. And restored him. Shall we bow our head? Are you here? You are struggling with one sin or one habit or the other. And you don't know how to stop it. God loves you. That is why we are here today. Maybe you did not know that you will meet somebody like me. God that designed it that you will be free from that particular re reoccurring sin, reoccurring habits. But it will not force you. you I need help. I need help. Those are the people that God comes to deliver from their sin, and they will be seeing results. And I'll be praying for you. God bless you. God, oh, Lord, sincere people are in the house today. God bless you. Can you please receive the card? Receive, receive the card. Receive the card. That card is telling the devil your oppression. I'm taking out of your oppression. God bless you. God bless. You. Can you please step forward? Step forward here. Step forward here. There is something that is going to drop in your life today. Your life will never remain the same. You will find those things that have been keeping you bound. You will not see them again because you are honest and sincere enough to come to God that God I need your help. Those are the people that He wants. He wants people that really desire His help. Thank you, Lord. You are going to repeat this words after me. Say, my heavenly Father, I thank you for your word that has come to me. Please forgive me. Of all the wrong, all the sins I have ever done, I acknowledge you to say as my personal Lord and my personal Savior. Please bless me with your Holy Spirit to guide me till I see you in glory. Help me to be strong in my weak areas. And make me a soul winner for you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now just say amen to my own prayer for you. Father, thank you for this one that you have drawn. Because no one can come except you draw. You drew them by yourself. Father, receive our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Father, as they will be turning to go. Just like you did for Saul. The Bible said that as he turned to go from the prophet. God gave him a new heart. Lord, grant unto this one the act of righteousness. In the name of Jesus. The sin or the unrighteousness that could have been holding them bound. Deliver them right now from such in the name of Jesus. And make them so winners for you. Help them to make it to heaven on that last day. And to receive a well done from you. In Jesus mighty name bless you. Congratulations. This decision you have made is one of the best decisions anyone can make. You will see what will be happening in your life. But ensure you are consistent in God 
and in the things of God. And you see things, even before this time tomorrow, you'll be seeing some things God will be doing in your life. God bless you. There is a lovely lady. Can you turn around? Turn around. Please follow her things and also asking for some of your duty. Please celebrate these people. Celebrate. The Bible said that there is joy in heaven for a single soul. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Shall we all rise to our feet before we put an end to this? I don't know which area you need deliverance. The deliverance sometimes need deliverance. In the book of 2 Kings chapter 5 verse 1. 2 Kings chapter 5 verse 1. The Bible was talking about Naaman. He said that through him deliverance had been brought to Samaria. But he too, he needed deliverance from leprosy. So deliverer can need deliverance. Every one of us, at one point in time, we need deliverance. From trouble, from sickness, from anything. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, you are the unlimited deliverer. Deliver me from anything that has brought stagnation, pain, sorrow, depression into my life pray 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 he's hearing you deliver me from anything that brought stagnation pain sorrow retrogression stagnation anything in jesus mighty name we have prayed god said that you tell somebody before the end of this week you will have reason to be congratulated everlasting father thank you for your word that has been delivered let there be a performance. Receive all the glory again. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Put your hands together for Jesus. God bless you. Please be seated. Praise the It's time to give our love offering, our building offering. It's time to give our tithes. If your tithes is here, please package them all. We are, remember, we are giving unto God, so you have to give your best so that you can receive the best from the Almighty. This only I want you to really give today that the heavens will know that indeed you have given a worthy offering. Please let's also be upstanding. Let's be upstanding. Let's dance. Let's give cheerfully. And those who need POS, you can ask the ushers for POS. Those who want to make transfer, the account is on the screen. Please let's make our transfers. Let the enemy not cheat us today at all. Please be upstanding. Please be upstanding. Joy, 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 joy. joy.